Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Spartan Ops. Um, I'm hoping to finish episode one here so I can get a good vibe for what all of the episodes will feel like. Um, I'm hoping to enjoy Spartan Ops at least. Again, still not sure if I will play all of them. Fucking ouch. <laughs> a little Rustin Kratz and Gilda Stern here. Just two morons arguing at each other. There's a classic uh, argument that may or may not have actually happened in French history, where an uh, Englishman and a Frenchman are arguing over their uh, trades in war. The Englishman says, you know, we fight for honor, but you guys just fight for money. And the Frenchman says, yeah, we all fight for what we don't have. I assume the Englishman then turned into a large pile of ash based on. I would, you know, Jesus, I can't imagine being lit up that hard. I could only dream of lighting up somebody that hard. That is one of the harshest things to say. And, you know, it's it's like it's Merc to Merc, you know, that's those are people talking to each other who both kill for a job. Like, damn. Ouch as shit. Cool. I think you'll find these are actually called space dogs. Do I have a hop here? Nah. Cool. You love to see it. You really do. Hey. Hello. Pop you. You know what? I may as well go back and pop uh, top off, rather. Working on it. I like how they totally just like go to pieces. Dumb, well abreast of how many guns are pointed at me, sir, but thank you. How about that? Does that tickle your britches? I don't think I am, to be honest. Last tower is that way. Oh, Lord. 
Maybe I can clear some space that away. Yeah, well. <laughs> Does he come to eat my body? That's kind of raw. So what I would really like is to be able to get up here without dying. Wow. Okay. I wonder if I'm actually racing these guys or if I or if they're letting me take my time here, you know? Go, go, go. I like that I died gun in the air. Thank you. I love that you can see that there's a uh, like an emplacement in the sky but that it's still so large that it generates clouds. Like, I know it's just some good texture work, but damn it, it looks cool. So are these things still orange because they forgot or because the diadict is still in control? I was under the impression that the diadict is dead. I don't know that he is, but I got that that was what they kind of wanted. Jesus. There's my stuff. Okay. It's going to be a real pain in the ass. Well-known fact, serpentine. It makes it harder for you to get shot. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's just like, hey, you got a little bit left to clean up there, sir. Let me just uh, mark these on your... There you go. There's a hundred. It looks like three taps with that thing's enough. Yowza. What? That was the rudest thing I've ever seen in AI do. At least in Halo. To be expected. I might need bigger firepower. Now, I don't know that these things regenerate health, but it sure would make my job easier if they didn't. How about uh, that, huh?
Jesus. Like, there's just nothing but just gunfire. I'm getting spread on toast out here, guys. Is DeMarco's team doing this alone as well? Jeez. As long as I can get one every death, I'm making progress, you know? Gotta remember my shelled. I feel like I'm doing better with this one. All right, how many's left? I I think it's like six. <laughs> Jeez, call it a draw, huh? Mm-hmm. This is a very... This one's going really well. I can't remember if I already bitched about this or not. But a couple of days ago I made some spaghetti. And it's proven to be kind of subpar. Because I put too much Worcestershire sauce in it. And what I need to do is... See if I can add some brown sugar to it to make it a little better. Hello. <sighs> that was a pretty good life as they go. I love the vibe of being a forerunner equipped Spartan. And they do have some pretty neat toys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh boy. Oh, that didn't count as a reload? Come on, guys. Don't tell me you haven't heard of canceling. Like, animation canceling, not like getting canceled on Twitter. One of those actually does something. Damn straight. I'm glad to see the Pelicans get some more play. Nothing like some uh, friendly interdepartmental friction. These are pretty difficult. Um... The fact that you have, like, multiplayer respawns as opposed to single-player respawns makes them a lot easier. But, like, they're pretty cool. The challenge. Sacred and core. All right. I'm going to get my Doom Fingers going. Uh, continuing from last part, I would kind of like to see more 
Um, let's go with that. <laughs> Glad to hear. Got to say, if you want a fire team, I do need to tell you I am one guy. So yeah, seen a lot of reused assets here from the campaign, but honestly, that's not so much of a bad thing. It lets them get more use out of it, and it lets a cool, like, campaign happen. I guess the assumption is whenever I die, I get replaced by a, a new member of uh, Crimson. And my armor is just the standard gear for members of Crimson. But that's okay. Yowza! Pop them and move on. Hell yeah, girl. Yeah, I would be kind of interested to see like um, a Halo where you can pick way more races. Like, I don't know if Halo can support an MMO. I've actually talked about this in the past, but one of the reasons that um, uh, World of Warcraft kind of feels so right to be an MMO... And, like, Blizzard's a shit company who uh, arranged the death of several employees. But one of the things about, um... Sorry, I'm just listening to the guy speak. Uh, but, yeah, one of the things with um, World of Warcraft is that with Warcraft itself, you were always in control of an army comprised of hundreds of little soldiers. So there being, you know, no chosen one is something that made a lot of sense for the story. Because there wasn't a chosen one. There were some generals that were cool, but mostly it was a story about countries and getting to dig in and be a single member of that country was cool. That was one of the things that appealed to me about WoW when I uh, when I played. Um, compared to something like Star Wars or Final Fantasy getting an MMO. In this, like, the idea with Star Wars is that you could do that sort of thing. And Clone Wars, you know, allows you to do that. You're the boss. I think I've got one. Who oh boy? Uh, yeah, the idea is that you could have, you know. A Star Wars story about randos. But since the movies are about the chosen one, everyone wants to be that chosen one. And it's why people think that the Republic Commando has the weakest story in uh, Tor. Similarly, Final Fantasy has always had, like, a very strong core cast. And it's why having, you know, an army and not the singular protagonist is something that people disagreed with in early Final Fantasy XIV. 
but it's something that later 14 and 11 handled pretty well. And so, like, a lot of the idea with Halo is that, um, you know, there, that it could be anyone doing this. And those things are supported by ODST and uh, Reach. And I guess uh, by this, by Spartan Ops. Getting backed up into a corner here. Thanks for re reloading my gun for me, dickhead. Woof. But like so much of the actual Halo story is just about Chief that I don't know if it could really honestly support that kind of a story. Because, like, people want to see Chief. That said, creative characters like Spartan Locke... Uh, nope. Creative characters like Noble Six were received way better than uh, non-Chief player characters who you don't have any input on, like Spartan Lock. Spartan Lock was supposed to be my, my counterexample, pardon me. Show me your butt! I love the vibe of just opening the... Hey, quit that, you. Oh, man. I love that you die gun up. Just fucking shooting the corpse. All right. Another one down. I'm glad to see that Halo actually fucking switched over to meters. I don't remember when that was, but... I commented on the use of, uh... Fucking Earth-ass miles in a Halo 1. Hello, sir. Can I help you today? Yowza. Lock down for a sec, huh? Thank you. Give me that. Thank you. Hey, also, you don't have to do an animation every time. That's kind of interesting. As mentioned, I certainly prefer it. I'm aware. Damn. <sighs> They're so aggressive. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good morning. Ten left. Nine. I love these. Like, these are honest, like, knuckle down, drag out fucking fights. It's a vibe I don't know if you exactly get in Firefight, you know?
Because one thing that I notice about Firefight is that, like, sometimes it feels so, like, score-oriented. Whereas this is like, yo, guys, some of them gotta go. Start shooting. Like, I really got the vibe in ODST. Yeah, I got the vibe in ODST of, like, where it's almost survival horror. And, like, you know, you're locked down and you gotta go. But, like, I'm getting that way more here than I ever got in, a, like, Reach Firefight. Right. Man, I wonder what 343 is going to do after the next Halo trilogy. Because 343 was essentially just built by Microsoft out of uh, fresh meat and some old Bungie employees to make the next Halo. After they learned that 343, nope, after that Bungie would not be making any more Halo. Like, they built 343 to make more Halo. And I'm really curious as to what's going to happen after the, this trilogy's up. Damn. I was trying to get in, but I don't think you can sprint while holding down the shield. You can't. Damn, there goes that gun as well. Oh, maybe I can... Nope, not well. Like, they are fucking locked down in there. Alright, now fall over, please. How about that? Will that uh, tickle your britches? Go, go, go. All right. Just some crawlers. Man. If anything else, this gun makes me feel like the dispenser of th um, some goddamned frontier justice, you know? Oh, look at that. Better be. So my cats have been sick. Um, uh, I've been, I've been working with them. I've been detoxing them, keeping eyes on them. You know, they're not like in any fatal danger by any means, but, uh, Earlier today, I got him some new cat food. Sacred and core. I got him some new cat food. And mixed it with pumpkin. Uh, which is uh, ed not only edible for cats, but it'll actually clean them out. It can actually kill some intestinal worms. Handle bacteria, stuff like that. It's also filling and uh, very stable for their stomach, so they're not going to get hurt by it. Uh, and earlier today, I heard the most ungodly fart noise. Like a cartoon fart sound. Okay. Topped off, stocked up. Let's kick some ass, huh? Uh, but yeah, I heard this like ungodly fart, fart noise. Followed by some meowing. And then just the stench of cat food filled my room. Like, my actual bedroom. I was so upset. I was like, no. How could you guys do this to me?
So I guess by examining, um, there was actually some controversy recently because originally in, I believe, the Bungie lore, the term hyperlethal vector was reserved for Master Chief. And that's why he's the best. And one other. It was reserved for Noble Six. Which is why in Reach, um, Six can actually match Chief, you know, do everything that he can. Because theoretically, Six should be as strong as Chief. And the lore seems to present that as the case. Thank you. So yeah. And that makes sense to people. That the only two hyperlethal vectors are the two playable Spartans. However, uh, some 343 lore seems to give the impression that anyone who is a Spartan is a hyperlethal vector. Which a lot of people just plain don't like. Because it makes Chief and Six less special. And like, you know, in a writing sense, it's almost just like they just want the Spartans to sound cool. And I want you to know you're a meat shield. They just want the Spartans to sound cool, so they're like, yeah, they're all hyperlethal vectors. Without, you know, the consideration that it makes their main character less special. And what's more, it makes Noble Six less cool. And as I talked about, people just play like Noble Six. You know? Definitely should watch my Six, but it doesn't appear to be that much danger back there. I love the feeling of hitting them in the little exposed chunk of their hand. And then when the when their shield pops out cracking them through the uh, through the head. That's that's never felt bad. That has always been the best. Especially because I'm ridding the world of some more jackals. Fuck those guys, you know. Yowza. Oh, you've got a jetpack, huh? You too as well, huh? Nice. Now, of course, some dickhead drained all the ammo out of my gun here, so I only get a few pops out of this apple. Actually... Let's say hello in a big way. Fine by me, you know? Drop those, thank you. Starting to run dry on a lot of my goodies. I don't think I've used this, like, at all in this game. Of course, I got a lot of use out of it way, way back in Halo. That's a straight up stuck. That sucks. Oh, well. Uh, got a lot of use out of it back in Halo 4? Nope. I'm playing 4. Back in Halo 3. I want to say it was like my favorite gun in 3. K 
castle, huh? Let's keep it secret, keep it safe down here for a little bit, huh? Hey, that's funny. My armor and ammo count is palindromic. Fourteen forty one. There we go. <laughs> I like how he just starts floating away. I've commented on the fact that I love playing with a famine skull on because it really forces the player to play like Chief does, you know, constantly grabbing new shit, constantly grabbing fresh weapons. And that's really great, you know? Always having to scavenge new stuff off the battlefield is a really cool vibe. It means that you cannot rely on power weapons. It means that at some point you're going to have to stop using that gun that you have. Because, like, some guns you can just get a hold of and use, like, basically forever. Because you're never going to run out of that ammo type. And, like, for days like that, I feel like that's why Famine exists. Making sure that you're always going to keep it fresh, you know? And, like, that's so... That's so much more fun to me. Because, obviously, even I uh, have been a proponent of, like, I really like this gun. I'm going to try my best to keep it with me through the entire level. But, like, no matter how much I like a gun, I don't actually need it, you know? And something that some may have noticed I was doing all throughout Halo 4, assuming you watched that. You should if you didn't. It was actually a really fun LP. Um, something I was doing all through Halo 4 is that I was always trying to try the new guns. Because, like, you know, I do want to see how 343 handles old classics like the DMR, the Battle Rifle, the Assault Rifle. Or, fuck, even, like, things like the Plasma Pistol. Um, oh boy. Damn. Can I swap this? Thank you. What I really want is two, like, workhorses, you know? Hey, I'm finding my old ammo, or my old guns. I wonder if I always did that, or then I just didn't notice. Another one down. I kind of like when you, like, know that they're coming up on you. You can see them on the radar, but, like, you just stay uh, far enough ahead of them that you don't need to worry about it. 
I should be making sure that I'm locking down the stuff behind me, but I do want to get to the new area. New shooting gallery with new things to kill, you know? Got places to go. I'm always curious to see if other games could handle something like a, a, a creative character. Because, like, some people were skeptical uh, of it, but, like, Reach knocked it out of the park. So many people were like, no, I just want to play as Chief in every game. But, like, the creative character is so good in Reach. Like, your ability over it, how you get to feel like Six, like, it's all so, so good. And you know what? That's great. What is that? Bolt shot. Eh. Go. God. Shotgun stinger, huh? Uh, fans of the channel, if I have any, uh, might know that I have always been a huge fan of Devil May Cry. And by always, I mean for the past, like, five years or so. Eh, it might, it's a little longer than that. Assault rifle, no thank you, sir. Ah, there's a guy back here. But yeah, I've been a fan of Devil May Cry for quite a while. I love that game. Good job, 343. Sure thing, Chief. And there's a very classic move in Devil May Cry called Stinger. Where you just dash forward and, and you know, sword somebody in the face. Tale as old as time. Some people do it in the real world with a rapier. This is a really good track, by the way. Can I just say? <laughs> I love this vibe. Like, the vibe of actually just being the one to hold this shit down. That's great. I love that. I've got to close the distance to use this. And this will just... This is a one-button knockout. Anyway, there's a much appreciated upgrade to Stinger. I mean, not a really, it's really not an upgrade, but it's an alternative uh, move to Stinger called Shotgun Stinger, which is a Stinger, but you pull the trigger of a shotgun at point blank right into somebody's mouth. Which is pretty great. And, like, that's so the vibe that I'm getting here. All right. Let me on, guys. Sweet. That feels good, man. I like that. So every episode's about an hour. So yeah, um, maybe a little, uh, maybe a little more. So yeah, I guess saying that each one's going to be an hour is pretty accurate. Uh, these are great. Um, they're a little simple, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. They're really, really reliable. Um, every level was like something new and cool, and like the first few were, you know, mostly rehashes of things that I'd seen. But the third one, I want to say, the jungle one, 
Oh, no, I think that might have been the fourth one. Yeah, because it was Temple. Uh, it mashed together those two like different palettes in a way that I hadn't seen before, and that was pretty neat. Uh, and the last one was almost completely new content, it felt. Um, which might be what they're doing. They're going to make all of the... <laughs> they're going to make all of... You know, every single last level, mostly new content. So you got to play through all of them to see the cool new shit that they put in the last one. Clever bastards, you know? But yeah, I like these and I'm going to play all of them. Um, well, I'm going to play more at least. I don't know about all of them, but I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, and by the way, let it be known. I still think everyone should buy Halo the Master Chief Collection. Like, even if you buy it $60 new... Every single thing in there is like a full game. And how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So even buying at full price, that's sixty dollars a game. And then you also get all of the all of the multiplayers. Is it, is it missing? Oh. You get all the different multiplayers and you get all the firefights and uh, Spartan Ops and like hot damn. What a steal, right? Like, I've I mentioned this in the past, but, like, corporations hate doing this. They hate giving you more money, uh, giving you more bang for your buck. They want to they wanna milk all of the cash out of you that they can. And so doing this is antithetical to them, especially for Microsoft. But, hey, as big tech companies are going, Microsoft's ending up as one of the better ones again, considering how evil Apple's getting. And Google's getting there, too. Uh, though I guess the end of a Halo Let's Play isn't exactly the place for a discussion of the current cyberpunk dystopia we live in. I digress, as I often do. I've been Alfred. That's short for Al Friedrich. Uh, this has been Spartan Ops. Uh, come back next week, I guess. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.